Everybody claims they want to make big boy money. You want to make all that big boy money, you got to come do some big boy. You know, living the dream is something that you have to be dedicated to working to achieve the dream. The interest in Lindsay Shiver, her Bahamian lover Terrence Adrian Bethel, and their would-be hired hitman, Farron Newbold Jr., is heating up day by day. The story's going viral. I'm at work. I'm at work. I'm always at work. Damn! And I'm spelling Farron's name with one R like he spells it. Because I've been able to confirm this is him from his social media photos, these uh, drawings, this proposed residence by Mr. Farron Newbold Jr. Ominously, Farron, whose nickname is Phalo, posted on Facebook November 12th, 2018. Don't let her social media fool you. I do exist and I will shoot the F out of you. 100. Let's talk about the big backstory of this wild viral case. Lindsay Shiver, she's 36, out of Thomasville, Georgia. She's accused of unsuccessfully conspiring with two Bahama natives to kill her husband, Robert Shiver, on or around July 16th on the Abaco Islands. Her CNN bail for Lindsay Shiver was set at $100,000. Her defense attorney, Ian Cargill, said, the alleged co-conspirators, Terrence, who's 28 and Farron, 29, face conspiracy to commit murder charges. Their bail was set lower, Cargill said, at $20,000 each. All right, y'all. These shorts were by far the dirtiest, had the most stains on them. And now look. Unbelievable. And it works on whites. My mom, this trick years and years and years ago, when my brothers played baseball, they had white baseball pants and they would be filthy, as you can imagine. And my mom, I'm not kidding, could get those white baseball pants squeaky clean, like brand new with Murphy's oil. So I'm a believer and we've been using it for like 15 years. So why and how did Lindsay change? Hey guys, um, I wanted to hop on here and tell y'all no life hack for this week. Um, it's going to be a little bit different than my previous weeks. The only one I want to say is that and it is a valuable life hack, not to underestimate that, but just to be kind and to be appreciative and to try to help out your neighbor and your friends and strangers, um, with Hurricane Dorian and the havoc that it, to give them jobs and to give them shelter and to give them family, it's just, it's devastating. So. Um, no fancy life hack, nothing crazy, no great cleaning products. Life hack, be kind, help people, be grateful and thankful for what you have. In this deep dive documentary, you'll witness a seemingly wealthy and kid focused and lonesome stay at home mom. Hey guys, real quick, I'm in my kids carpool line. I'm about to get them and I've got a few minutes, so I was gonna share a life hack with you guys. At the start of every week, I go to Publix, go to the store, wherever you shop, get your groceries, and I get several quick and easy snacks for my kids, and I sort them in our kitchen in a basket. They know where their basket is. Rhett has a basket, the boys have a basket, and Robert and I have a basket. It's full of granola bars, pretzels, like just quick and easy snacks that they can grab while we're running in and out daily. And also, um, when I'm packing their lunch in the morning, it's something that they can help me with. They take pride in being independent and helping mommy and grabbing a snack. And they also get to put in their input um, when I am packing their lunch. So it's a life hack because it saves you time and it helps make your kids independent. Win-win switch into a person that people are saying is unrecognizable. So how did Lindsay transform from this woman giving life hacks about cleaning her boy's clothes with Murphy's oil and washing her outdoor pillows to a woman accused of something completely heinous against her college sweetheart and the dad to her three little blessed boys? Was it due to just boredom? in paradise or an alleged pill addiction as the rumors are claiming we're going to dish 
about what could have happened to turn this Lily Pulitzer loving conservative wife to her rich husband and mom of three into this alleged mastermind behind her husband's thwarted demise. Lindsay's social media photos and videos hint at a lonely life as her husband Robert Shiver provided them with the good life it looks like, but he also enjoyed his hunting jaunts away from his brood sometimes. It appears he traveled with them quite a bit too. And witnessing Lindsay's slight weight loss and photos that grew raunchier unexplainably over time, it seems this mom was definitely under the influence of some sort of evil that led to her downfall in a dramatic way. Finally, we will go over the latest chatter in Thomasville, Georgia and the Bahamas to try and figure out what is the real truth behind the headlines. Will we find out in court via court records that Lindsay paid a would-be hitman $40,000 as the rumors are now claiming? Tell me you're rich without telling me you're rich. Let's talk about all the latest verified news reports and the gossip spreading like wildfire about this case. The mainstream story of Lindsay, Terrence, and Farron. Now, I verified according to NCIC inmate communications as of this morning, Friday morning, August 4th, 2023, Her Majesty's Prison Bahamas has inmate Shiver, Lindsay still listed. However, New Bold and Bethel's names are not found therein. That's because Lindsay was given the $100,000 bond, but ABC News reports that Shiver cannot have her bail signed until Wednesday, August 9th, because the court needs a physical local address for her while she is out. She has to stay local. She can't fly back here to the United States. According to Lindsay's lawyer, her parents were willing to buy or rent her a home in New Providence. Her parents do have money. Thus far, the only mainstream outlet I've seen publish a photo of Terrence is Law and Crime Network. Outside of the Nassau-based publications that published the video of the trio on their perp walk, the day of their arraignments, Friday, July 28th, 2023. Well, I've taken a big deep dive into the trio's social media accounts ever since this fascinating case has grabbed me and many of you too. That's something that you can eat every single day and not get tired of. It's the tale of a wealthy married couple and their three little boys, this peanut beauty queen who allegedly tried to have her Auburn University College sweetheart husband done away with in a plan concocted in the paradise that is the Bahamas. Now Jill Holloway is the managing editor of the Thomasville Times Enterprise and she's casting a side-eye glance at some of the quotes that have been attributed to Robert Shiver in the press, the man who blessedly escaped his wife's alleged plan to take him off the planet too soon. But Robert may very well have expressed his thoughts to an undercover New York Post reporter in the front yard of his extensive mansion that he and Lindsay have fought over in their contentious divorce as we covered in the last video. I have actually purchased that paperwork, the divorce paperwork, and maybe we'll deep dive into that in the future. We'll see how the divorce case works out as the criminal case is going through the system. But anyway, the reporter who is Jill tweeted, working as the editor in the town of the Lindsay Shiver case, I'm becoming really dubious of some of these other interviews. Her husband hired a PR person who says no comments or interviews will be given, including from his attorney, yet somehow people are speaking to him. Not only is her husband not speaking, but they are misspelling names right and left in other reports and her Bahamian attorney has claimed the husband bailing her out is a lie on the record with me. So that makes sense. I have seen a lot of misspellings like Lindsay's maiden name is Shirley. Some people are misspelling it as Shirely. 
Lindsay's family has reacted to her arrest. According to the New York Post, Lindsay Shiver's family is distraught after the former beauty pageant queen was arrested in the Bahamas over the alleged murder-for-hire plot against her estranged husband, a former Auburn football player. Lindsay's grandfather, Tom Shirley, said he was sad, shocked, and disappointed. After finding out the 36-year-old stay-at-home mom was arrested on July 21st, claims the publication, although I've seen a variety of arrest dates. According to the Daily Mail, the break-in at the local Bahamas bar that put in motion the whole discovery of the murder plot happened July 16th. So we're dealing with a July 16th break-in at the bar, a July 21st arrest, a July 28th arraignment. Bahamas police said they had stumbled upon this scheme of this trio to have Robert Shiver murdered and that Lindsay had allegedly paid her lover, Terrence, and Farron to carry out the act. I don't know if it's going to be one gunman or two. Sadly, I've seen that Farron appears to have a girlfriend and even a young daughter. But back to Lindsay's family, it just tore us up, Shirley told the Post on Wednesday. It's just a shame, a crying shame for Robert and the kids and everyone else. I know Lindsay, or I thought I did, and I don't know what could have happened, but something happened, Tom added. Good morning, everybody. I'm coming to you with a live pack. This is regarding um, pots that you have. So this is my trick. I have used it so many times, love it. So obviously my pots already have soil. And you would think someone would tell them to not do that. But here we go. So this is part of a life hack. So I'll take advantage of it. Why not? And teach y'all a little trick. So of course you just, you just have to pull it off guys. There's no way around it. If I can get it off my fingers. Okie dokie. So got it off. You see this residue? Can you see it? There it is. Okay. So, oops, sponge, Murphy's oil. Let me find the sticky side because I just dropped it. All right, you rub it in. Tom noted that Lindsay, Robert, and their three kids appear to be living the, you know, ideal family life, happily living at their $2.5 million mansion in Thomasville, Georgia, and taking all these luxurious trips to their vacation home in the Bahamas where they traveled by private jet, no less. But Lindsay Shiver's filing says that she, quote, incurred debt beyond her means to pay, and she asked that Robert Shiver be made to pay. Now, CNN reached out to attorneys representing each in the divorce case, and there will be a wrinkle in that divorce case about adultery and how it affects the monies paid. It's hard to believe because they're such a fine couple and a fine family, Tom said of the Shivers. I never saw it. They were just a fine couple. It's true. People don't know what goes on behind closed doors and... This picture-perfect social media life can fool a lot of people. Tom said, I never knew anything different. It's a surprise to me that all this came up and very disappointing. I don't know if she lost her mind or what. I don't know, Tom added. That's what a lot of people are wondering about. What happened to Lindsay? This is, put a finger down, please see you had sex edition. In a car. In a hotel. <laughs> in a shower someone else's house a movie theater a cemetery school work a park a river pool or beach woods or in your own house now, despite the contentious divorce and alleged murder plot, Tom said he was glad Robert had spoken with prosecutors about Lindsay, leading them to recant their objections to releasing her on bail Tuesday. Now, there's a lot of controversy about this topic, too. But Lindsay, Bethel, and Newbold were being held at the Fox Hill Prison in Nassau, which from the reports I've heard, people say it's not anywhere you want to be. 
It looks horrible. You see like these buckets in the hallway and whew. Lindsay has agreed to wear an ankle bracelet and remain in the Caribbean country until her court appearance on October 5th. She's got a while until she shows up in court. The trio will also surrender all their travel documents. They're banned from contacting Robert and all of them have to check in with the Marsh Harbor Police Station three times a week. That's what the court ruled and representatives for the suspects could not be immediately reached for comment by quite a few publications. But let's talk about how Lindsay and her cohorts got bail. The fact that Robert did not bond them out. According to the Bahamas Court News out of Nassau, Bahamas, in a shocking turn of events, they claim Georgia mom, Lindsay Shiver, and her two alleged conspirators were granted emergency bail on Tuesday. They claimed it was thanks to their alleged target, Robert. They said the prosecutor withdrew an objection to their release after speaking to Shiver's estranged husband, Robert Shriver the court heard. But people are saying Robert didn't speak with anyone. That doesn't mean that Robert bailed them out. There's been a lot of controversy about that line. According to Insider's Facebook talk we'll go over at the end, Robert didn't have a hand in them getting bail. So did Robert speak to the prosecutor at all or not? Either way, the Shiver's rosy life came to an abrupt end on April 5th when Robert, an executive at a life insurance company, filed for divorce, accusing his wife of cheating on him. And the following day, Lindsay submitted her own response to the Thomas County Superior Court. She hit back. She was claiming that Robert had a history of violence against her. He was trying to cut her off from his money. She wanted alimony and everything. Tom Shirley, however, said he was very close with the family. He never witnessed any signs of domestic abuse, and he called Robert a good fellow. Lindsay, Terrence, and Farron had been detained since their arrest on July 21st, but the two men are out. Police officers had stumbled across these WhatsApp messages about the alleged murder plot during a search of Terrence's phone while he was being questioned about a break-in at Grabber's Bar and Grill on Guana Cay. Now, all of them will also be fitted with tracking devices. They'll have to sign in at the Marsh Harbors Police Station again on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays before 6 p.m. They don't want this trio to run off anywhere, and if they have passports, they can't go using them to go flee to some country that doesn't extradite. But despite being granted bail, the accused had remained in detention until their sureties were approved by the court. So the guys must have been approved, but Lindsay has to wait. Robert Shiver did not know what to tell his kids. So reportedly, according to the New York Post, Robert Shiver broke his silence on Tuesday, revealing to the New York Post that he still hasn't had the heart to break it to his kids that their mother is in jail. I mean, they are pretty really young boys. It would be hard to take. So the 38-year-old Robert Shiver is back in Thomasville, Georgia with his three children, and they are all under 12 years of age, after his estranged wife, Lindsay, was arrested in the Bahamas. The former athlete was playing with two of his young sons in the front yard of his Thomasville sprawling mansion on Tuesday afternoon in what the New York Post called the last few moments of innocence before he has to tell the boys that Bahamian police are accusing their mother of plotting their dad's death. Robert Shiver told the Post, my kids don't know the whole thing yet. I'm going to try and tell them in the next day or so. They're young. So I believe this can happen. Maybe it was an undercover reporter and maybe, you know, he's hollering questions or how are you? And maybe Robert hollered back. The kids don't know yet. Like basically don't tell them they're young. Who knows? I think it could have happened. Robert Shiver, again, we know he filed for divorce April 5th against Lindsay, he uncovered, quote, adulterous conduct. And he's also seeking sole custody of their three children, as well as the sole use of the $2.5 million Thomasville mansion. And he probably has a great shot at winning everything. Despite the alleged plot, Robert, who met Lindsay at a fitness class at Auburn University in 2007, he believes everything will be fine. It'll all work out, he told the Post. That reminds me of one of my favorite Lil Wayne songs, It'll All Work Out. That's the name of it. And he's right, eventually everything will work out. But let's talk about the social media stories. 
Now, Terrence Adrian Bethel followed Lindsay on Instagram and he even liked at least one of her photos. And the evolution of this trio's social media footprints tells a story. You can almost see why this happened or how it happened. Now, on the surface, Terrence and Farron both seem to be hardworking Caribbean men chasing the dream of riches. Tell me I lie though. Man, this guy just had this big fight, right? I couldn't believe why. She so just come from the Bible. We ain't gang. We ain't trying to look good for. Why you gonna look good? If you see me happy, just leave me alone. I deserve this. Fresh cut! Okay. Whatever this filter tells me to do in 2022, um, you guys hold me accountable for it because I'll do it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps in Lindsay, they formed some symbiotic relationship of despoil. It was March 24th, 2013, when Lindsay posted a photo of a little boy in a kiddie pool way back in the day, 10 years ago. But you could tell her desires, her rich girl wants and needs. Loving it, she wrote with a smiley face about the little kiddie pool. We need a real pool next, Robert Shiver. So she called out her husband. She even posted about his vasectomy. Well, Lindsay got what she wanted in terms of getting a real swimming pool. The very next year, the couple would move homes and years later, Lindsay would joke about Robert going missing and being found six feet under when building their pool. And he replied to her joke, which was a rarity. I didn't see him reply a lot to her, but on June 26, 2017, Lindsay wrote, if Robert goes missing, y'all know where to find him, crying, laughing face, six feet under, just kidding, pool time. Now in this rare instance Robert replied I might after this project LS which I assume is Lindsay Shiver is doing work so how ironic and eerie and foreboding back on July 28th 2014 Lindsay had posted a photo saying that moving day had finally arrived the family was moving into a new house by January 5th 2015 Lindsay was making her desire for a little girl very well known she posted photos of the little girl what she would name her Alexa or something. In fact, Lindsay would show her visible disappointment at the gender reveal party of their third son. As soon as Robert showed her the blue spilling out of the piñata, it would be another boy. She kind of goes like this. wanted a girl. Several photos show lovely bouquets all on Instagram of flowers that Robert would buy Lindsay just because. And she wishes Robert a happy Father's Day and calls him an amazing man that she gets to call her husband. By the time the couple celebrated their fifth anniversary, Lindsay wrote, I feel like at five years of marriage, we deserve a medal or something, LOL. On June 21st, 2015, Lindsay wrote about how much she missed Robert. He was obviously out of town hunting. Happy Father's Day to the man who made me mommy. We sure have missed you this week, but every day is Father's Day in the Shiver household. We three love you more than words. Hashtag he's hunted all week. Hashtag come home. In 2016, for her husband's birthday, Lindsay posted a throwback of her and Robert saying, back then they were young, skinny, and so in love. But Lindsay said, only one third still exist. Hashtag nine years ago. Lindsay must have meant they were no longer young, they were no longer skinny, but she claimed back then they were still so in love. Ironically, that same year, Lindsay had a mouthful to write about a would-be criminal caught on her home camera. Isn't isn't it ironic that home cameras allegedly were what caught her in an adulterous affair? Anyway, Lindsay wrote, we see you and we're on to you. 
Thomasville friends, it appears as though he is looking for handguns as he didn't take several things that were available to him in the vehicles he broke into. Here's an idea, Lindsay quipped. Get a job and earn what you're looking for so desperately, angry faces. But on the other hand, Lindsay joked and called Robert the Clyde to my Bonnie in 2017, posting a throwback of the couple in Key West. Hey, dear Lynn. Happy birthday to you! Now those are Lindsay's own written words about her own marriage. Now let's talk about the Facebook rumors from alleged insiders. Alleged insiders wrote, I have a few facts to share. I know these things to be true due to I know his grandmother that also has dementia, which is his mom's mother. FYI, the family also has cameras in the grandmother's house to monitor her and the caregivers that take care of her 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I mean, that's very believable, especially rich people would have not only exterior cameras but of course interior cameras to protect them especially if they have caregivers coming in and out. We live in a small town said the insider so everyone knows everyone's business or so they think. They also added please as the discussions continue pray for this whole family as they are going through so much. I can believe it. It's so shocking especially for the people who said Lindsay just changed. According to the insider the whole family was at the vacation home in the Bahamas that his parents own. That would be Robert, the kids, Lindsay, mom, and his dad that does also have dementia. They were all there for a last family vacation before the boys go back to school. Robert was tipped off by the police that Lindsay was going to have the man come in while they were all there and shoot and kill him while the whole family was there. If this turns out to be the real plot, this is shocking. I mean, it would be believable because then Lindsay would have all these witnesses to the killing but just how traumatizing that would have been. Robert was advised to leave and cut his vacation short due to this. Sure, because the cops, I don't know if they knew a date it was gonna happen. But after Robert came home, Lindsay stayed and that's where she was arrested along with the two men involved. So I don't know if Robert made an excuse and just grabbed the boys and took them home. Phones were searched and that was where the discovery of the plot to do away with Robert was found. Now, insiders say Lindsay comes from a wealthy family. Yes, I've pretty much verified this. Lindsay posted a photo of her parents' home, and that's over a million dollars. This insider says Lindsay did get an inheritance, and she does have her own money. Some people debate that about her allowance, but she was losing everything after the discovery of the affair, and some people point to the use of substances. Her money is in a trust and given as her parents see fit. So I don't know if that arrangement was always there. I don't know how rich people work, but would a 36-year-old woman still get an allowance, I guess? But when her parents allegedly saw the videos of what Lindsay was doing with her boy toy in the house, they cut the money off. This person said, it's sad we live in a small town where everyone knows everyone. They both come from good families. They were both in church on Sundays. And we've seen that. We can bear witness to that, to watching all of Lindsay's uh, videos and her church photos. He is risen on Easter. Kids go to the best private school in town, well known in the community. This person wrote, I hate it for her children that people don't have enough respect to not post pictures of her boys all over the internet. Due to the circumstances, their boys will not be going to school for a while when school starts. They probably, once they're told, will need great counseling. And that's why it's taken me days to black out you know, the photos of the boys. The husband showed her parents video of her infidelity and substance use alleges this insider and there was a lot of use in the video. Now after seeing this video, Lindsay's monthly stipend from her parents was cut off. So, but we're going to learn about how her parents are really helping Lindsay now. They want to rent her a home down there. Lindsay personally says this person doesn't have anything except what is given to her. Her lawyer, her divorce lawyer, withdrew because of this. She knows she would never get paid, says this problem. Now apparently Lindsay had turned off the 
cameras allegedly she thought she had turned them all off but allegedly the only ones turned off were in the garage and the man she hired allegedly was going to make it look like a robbery so did she shoot herself in the foot thinking she was in the clear this person claims she's been having an affair with this man for over a year and a half and so i wonder how long has it been happening some people say the beginning of this year i don't know another person wrote in our small town there are husbands and wives that cheat and believe it when i say this and anyone that knows lives here knows telegram telegraph tell all of thomasville so that must be their publications everyone knows everybody in their business people keep saying but on april 9th you noticed lindsay and her husband still pose for an easter photo after filing for divorce one person claimed they were still trying to keep it normal as possible for the kids divorce was filed not final so if she had this plan that worked she would stand to inherit millions of dollars. Now, this person claims the police had the phone of the man who robbed the bar. So I don't know if they've solved that yet though, but which is who they hired to try and do away with Robert. The phone was found allegedly at the bar that he robbed. When the investigator got the phone, had it unlocked, that is when they found the messages of the plan to get rid of Robert. This person claims Lindsay was not planning on returning home until just before the boys were to go back to school, which would make sense. You see a pattern of them going off for spring break, different places, going off for the summer, when the boys weren't in school. Another person wrote, I live on this island and that is what has been going around way before all this. This person claims the husband has been seen with other women and kissing up on them. Now, I don't know if that's true or not. You know, people say Robert's a good guy. So this is just fodder going around. We'll have to see. I think Lindsay would have brought it up in her divorce filing, if true. There are people in my office, one person wrote, who claims to know the family, according to one of Robert's friends who spoke to him last night. This would have been, I guess, the other night. They were told that Robert did not pay for her bail, nor did he even talk to the judge and does not know why this rumor is being spread. So I don't know if the Bahamas newspaper got it wrong. Who's, okay, maybe he didn't talk to the judge. Did he talk to the prosecutor? Robert allegedly wants nothing to do with her and would never have helped her get out, this person wrote. It had to have been her family that assisted. This person wrote, don't shoot the messenger. I'm just adding the info I received to the discussion. Another person wrote, Lindsay drives a black Escalade that she named the Black Widow. It's true, verify it through her Thomasville girlfriends. That would be very strange to call your car that. Another person said, I texted a friend from Dothan and this is what he knew, this was his response. Oh, I've known her since I was six but not close. Grew up going to school and playing ball with her two brothers my whole life. I have seen photos of Lindsay posting photos with her brothers. I believe they're her two younger brothers. I can't imagine what they're going through now too and thinking. This person said her parents are absolutely loaded. They claim they own an oil company and used to own a television provider similar to Comcast and sold it a long time ago for mega millions. And this is reminding me of the show Succession. But all the kids are stuck up, they claim, rich D-bags, not the little kids. They're talking about Lindsay, and I never liked any of them, this person wrote. I also know her as Lindsay Shirley, which is why that didn't ring a bell, I guess, at first. This person didn't know her as Lindsay Shiver. And Lindsay was allegedly adopted. Her original name, I think, was Ingram, so there's a lot to this. But sources close to the family are claiming that Lindsay allegedly got hooked on pain pills and she turned into a completely unrecognizable person. We do see a scar in one photo on her neck where she might have had thyroid surgery. The one where her husband talks about waiting for Lindsay in a hotel and she was having surgery. All right, Pozo, day three of the Pozo push-up challenge. I want to give a special shout out to my wife, Lindsay, who had surgery today. Super proud of you. I'm in the hotel room waiting to go pick her up in the morning. But she spent a lot of time in the Bahamas. They're claiming that the boyfriend was allegedly a dealer of the snowy substance, I'll say. This is total speculation the person wrote, but if she was unable to continue getting her prescription pain pills, maybe turning to a different substance would not be unusual. People are just trying to fill in the blanks of what happened here. But again, they're claiming she was seen on surveillance with the boyfriend at the family home in the Bahamas, partaking in snow, as well as other inconceivable acts. 
what on earth are these acts people are talking about? But she got swept up in a whole nother world and she became someone even she did not recognize anymore. Indeed, even her photos, she looks so different from years ago. Desperate people do desperate things, this person wrote. But again, they're saying no amount of excuses can ever justify planning her husband's demise. Another person wrote, I live near Thomasville. And from what I've heard, things went south during spring break, which would have been the last week of March. So that makes sense. They would have been down there in March. They usually go for spring break and the divorce filings came soon after. They wrote, I have some speculation about the surveillance camera theory, but I'm not sure. This person said, I've seen pictures of the inside and outside of the house and there were no noticeable security cameras, though that doesn't mean necessarily it's not true. Indeed, surveillance systems have gotten so elaborate and exquisite. I mean, people can hide cameras cameras anywhere. But they wrote, Robert does have some kind of hard evidence, possibly a text thread, possibly videos, and he filed for divorce the following week if that person's timeline is correct. So that does make sense. They start talking about the real reason Lindsay might have wanted to have Robert done away with instead of divorce is because if a spouse is caught cheating in Georgia, they might not get any alimony. People say, why not just divorce? This person read that her parents cut her off from the trust fund after news of the cheating and substances, so her life was about to change significantly. So that makes sense if Lindsay thought, all my money's gone, my parents cut me off, and my husband won't give me alimony. But I did look it up, and among the fault-based grounds for divorce, you may get a divorce in Georgia if you can prove that either you or your spouse committed adultery. Georgia law prohibits an award of alimony to a spouse who committed adultery, but only if that was the reason that the couple separated. So indeed, adultery is mentioned in Robert's court filings. He might have used that as a grounds to not pay her any alimony and her parents may not have wanted to give her anything either after finding out allegedly her issues. However, the cheating spouse is still entitled to argue for equitable division. Unlike in the context of alimony, adultery is not a bar to property division. So I wish if Lindsay could have read that part, perhaps done a little research, it doesn't mean she would have been penniless if she would have just gone through with the divorce and let the courts figure it out. This person wrote, I do know for a fact that his parents own the house in Baker's Bay and the airplane. Robert is very successful himself, but you have to be on another level to afford a house in Baker's Bay and a jet. Indeed, I see a lot of talk of celebrities and name dropping in this area. They wrote, the people who really know aren't talking. I think some of them are. And unfortunately, a lot of people in Thomasville who don't know are getting their info here on Facebook. Rumors spread like like wildfire in a small town. So indeed, we do have to wait until the criminal filings come out and see what proves true. This person wrote, I don't know Robert, but he seems to be a great guy and loving father. People have to realize that he and the kids didn't ask for any of this. Yeah, they didn't. I mean, although some people might be trying to view Lindsay's side, that doesn't mean they're excusing what she plan to do to him. That's horrible. That's heinous. People are just trying to understand it because it seems so foreign. Such a switch. Someone wrote, as someone with kids in the same age group, it truly breaks my heart to read the article that he doesn't have the heart to tell the kids their mom's in jail. This has to be an unimaginable nightmare he is going through. So many of their family, I'm sure. Ugh. In conclusion, Lindsay wrote on December 6, 2017, when you love what you have, you have everything you need. Amen. Lindsay called her husband selfless. She gave him praise and she dubbed herself a real Bahama mama. It looked like a life of luxury and fun. Lindsay wrote in one photo regarding their Bahamas trip, just another day in paradise. Was she always used to paradise? Did she grow up with a silver spoon in her mouth and never know anything different? She looks so different in that perp walk video. But from Panama City Beach to Vail, Colorado, to Turks and Caicos, to trips to meet country music stars, introduce them to her boys and accept praise from Reese Witherspoon about her boys being the most beautiful the star had ever seen. Lindsay truly, she seemed to lead a charmed life. So isn't it ironic that Lindsay may have conspired in this evil plan because she feared losing everything? 
lots of money, her children, her home, her vacations, and her reputation. And now, if she is found guilty, she'll lose all of that anyway. Now, people are weighing in. Pundits are claiming that lots of money can perhaps pay off Bahamian officials under the table and maybe get Lindsay out of trouble. While Legal experts in the United States are kind of saying the opposite. Some are claiming it will be easier to convict the trio of conspiracy to commit murder because the burden of proof isn't as great on the island nation, so their laws are different than ours. So we will see. We'll keep watching and praying, and maybe I'll buy some more divorce documents. I'll keep my eye on that. Maybe we'll do a deep dive there, too. First Samuel 16, 7. But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not consider his appearance or his height, for I have rejected him. The Lord does not look at the things people look at. People look at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Boy, this case, I just really want to know what happened. I mean, Lindsay seemed pretty normal. You know, you hear different stories of like, oh, she was rich and she was stuck up and she was vain. And yeah, I can probably believe some of that. And you see a lot of, you know, the filters on social media. Don't we all do it? But just kind of, you know, bougie and stuck up and just, I guess, not appreciating what she had. And if she was lonely and if, you know, the money didn't fulfill her or if Robert didn't fulfill her in certain certain ways. It's not good to go off to the Bahamas and try and party and maybe get your cheerleading college life wild girl side back. And for these young men as well, not even 30 years old yet, either of the young men. And again, it's just like, I don't know, it reminds me of that Saint X series vibe or all the different movies or shows that we've watched and seen where these people working hard on islands, they're looking for the come up too. And if they see this rich woman, it's a way to a means to an end. And if she's like claiming to be in dire straits and she's caught and she's having an affair and if there's substances involved that can really twist a person's thinking, they can really rob a person of their lives. It's all the enemy just robbing people of their lives. Like John 10:10 10, 10 saying, the thief comes only but to kill still and and destroy but Jesus said I came that they might have life and have it more abundantly if only Lindsay could have looked at her abundant life she already had I didn't even name all the vacations Mexico all these different places her hard-working husband and just love him and if there's any truth to anything he was doing she could have divorced him or you know she could have tried to get away from him instead of taking the route she took allegedly that underhanded route conspired with these two young men probably promises of money we'll get to see if there were any financial transactions that exchange hands and you know all of them being caught thankfully so Robert can raise his boys what will happen will Lindsay and Farron and Terrence if they're all found guilty will they serve literally 30 to 60 years in some prison where in the Bahamas on the Bahamian Islands in that horrible place or is there another jail we'll have to see but this story truly is fascinating so stay tuned as I cover this and many more I'll keep continuing to purchase court documents where I can the Georgia divorce court papers were eventually easy to purchase. Um, as far as getting documents from the Bahamas, I'm not exactly sure how that's going to go. We'll try the best we can. Thank you so much for watching this deep dive documentary and stay tuned for many, many more. Me chat. Hey, howdy everybody. Just checking in with you. Um, I'm still here in Abaco Island with my, with my new gal. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm here with my new gal. And I'm enjoying it. Mom, Dad, don't look for me. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. I promise you I'm fine. Don't worry about a thing. She's, she feeds me three times a day, okay? It's better than you guys ever did with that friggin' McDonald's.